to do. Now onto our jumping and landing. Please don't underestimate this. This is extremely important. We're going to do a double leg jump to a double leg land and then moving on to a double leg jump to a single leg land. We can do between four to eight reps of nice. each of these exercises. Do your best to jump as high as you can good. and then land with good control. This means our knee doesn't shoot forwards right. or That's buckle fine. inwards fine. or that we don't try and lean people over like too to far. See Stay fail. in yep. control. We then to compass hops, jumping over a line, forwards, backwards, and then side and side. About six to 10 hops in each direction. Swapping legs Swap is a feet. great way to warp that ankle. Make sure you try and keep your heel off the ground as much as you can. Try to work on keeping that ankle stiff. Now we're moving on to a slightly extended warm up here. Not everyone needs to do these jumps if they don't want to, but I think they are important. We've got pogo jumps, moving forward in the grin, getting as high as we can. Just one length for this. We then got our lateral bounds over a line, trying just to work on that dynamic stability of the hip. We're trying to keep that knee nice and strong, not trying to let our leg buckle forward or inwards and trying to explode as high as we can. Finally, we are into an axel and a D cell. Ah. We're sprinting forward, stopping quickly. We're probably doing Beautiful. about three of these over a 10 meter grid. Finally, we throw it all together and do two to three small axe cells and D cells together. Once again, this is getting ourselves warm, getting our heart rate up. This is really important in our fight to prevent injury and improve performance.